In this video, I want to show you how to export a, a table from Microsoft Access into a SQL Server database, especially I'm using a SQL Server 2016. I'm using Access 2016. Here's a pretty typical Access database. It, if you're a fan of Access, these are the tables that used to come with Access, the Northwind database, right? Remember that one? So you can still find it on the internet if you went up to uh, Google and typed in Northwind uh, or Northwind Access Database, you'll be able to find these tables. So I'm going to double click on this products table and you can see it's a pretty big table. Now I'm going to right click on that and then we'll pick on the word uh, export and we'll pick on the word ODBC database. Now this assumes that you have an ODBC connection to that database, which on my computer I should have that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick on OK for the product. Uh, it'll be called products. Now, in this case, in th I want to pick on machine data source here, and that'll show you the ODBC databases, uh, the o ODBC connections that are set up. And here's why I'm going to use SQL main. All right, I'll pick on uh, uh, here. If you needed to, you can make a new one, but I have one that's called SQL main. Now, you would type in your username and password. If you don't know that, you can get that from your IT team. And now, just that quickly, it was able to export the uh, products table from the Access database. Let's try that again. Now, I could also do that with queries, but in this case, I'll use the, uh, let's say I'm going to use the shippers table. I'm going to right click on the shippers table and I'll pick on export and I'll pick on ODBC database. Table name is fine. I'll pick a machine data source on this window. Again, I'll go with SQL main. That ODBC connection has to be already set up, of course. Otherwise, you can set it up here when we say no. I'll pick on OK. And now I need my password again. Pick on OK. And now it looks like it was able to export the shippers table as well. Let's see if that's really the case. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the SQL Server. Uh, so I'll pick on the SQL Server here. Now I, I put that in the Tom main database. I should have ch uh, showed you that, that those tables were not there before. But now if I, there's the Tom main database, right? I'm going to expand the tables. And now we can see we have the products table and we have the shippers table. Uh, so if I right click on that and then do select top 1000 rows, then we can see it has the same data from the Access database. All right, so that is a video on how to export from Access into the SQL Server.